Diane Love, I am so excited to have you here um, as somebody that was a member of Weight Loss for Life 2017. Um, you know, I so appreciate, I loved having you on our most recent webinars, sharing your story and just all the incredible changes that have gone on for you in your life, with your body, with you and food, and just <laughs> with all the things from your relationships to you using your voice to being in your body and how you feel around food and the weight release and more. And you are, have been such an inspiration. Um, and I had so many women write in saying how your, you know, your response in general and just mm -hmm. showing up and sharing your story, they felt so inspired by and also just related to. And that's really what this is about, is about seeing other women just like you, you know, <laughs> that have done and come before them. And so mm -hmm. I would love to know if you could just share with everybody, um, what made you join Weight Loss for Life? Well, I discovered the program through your Done With Dieting seminar that you had in October. Yeah. And I had my conference call with you and talked to you. And it was kind of funny because I was, you know, a little shell shocked um, when I talked to you how quickly you figured out exactly, you know, where I was, what was causing my problems and stuff. And, you know, you even told me, cause I was concerned about the price and you're like, you know, talk to your husband anyway, you know, he, you know, he'll want to do this for you. Well, you were exactly right. When I, you know, went to him, he's like, you know, sounds like a good idea. And he was like my biggest supporter through all this. And it was incredible. Some of the things that we would talk about and, you know, you would have us talk about in calls and different things that we do in our journal. And I'd get talking to my husband about, and, um, he's not, um, just because of his background, he's not a talker. He's not a talk about his feelings type person. And, um, I, I think that's one of the biggest things I came away from this whole program with was such, um, an incredible, you know, a more incredible relationship with my husband. We have a great marriage, but it's like kicked it up, you know, a notch or two. So, you know, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing, especially when you've been married for a long time. Yes, 31 like, years. <laughs> yeah, right? So it's still know that there's so much newness um, mm -hmm. that can come, and that comes from you getting clear on who you are. Right, and right. So, so you joined the program, and I know you did have those hesitations. And you're not alone when I talk to people. Yes. They're always like, I don't understand how you just, you just nailed me within the first, like, few minutes. And I'm like, right, oh, right. <laughs> power. Um, yeah. so, but what was going on for you in your life that, that where you started to say, I, I need this program. Like I well, want, I was at a transitional phase in my life. My kids are adults now. They don't need me anymore. And trying to, you know, find myself, um, you know, you, you get to a point you're like, you kind of feel lost. And then, so you focus on your weight. So that's why I found the program. You know, I thought, okay, if I get this weight off, then, you know, I'm going to be happier and everything. And, and it was funny how in the beginning of the program, the focus is not on a diet plan. You know, it's not on diet pills. It's not on exercise and stuff like that. It's figuring ourselves out. And that is kind of a scary thing to do, but it's like, once you dive into it, I mean, it is amazing how the other components just, they, they're like a side effect. They're not, you know, not the key thing. What do you mean the other components? Um, like the weight loss and, um, you know, like, you know, I feel like I found my voice again. You know, I know what I'm supposed to be. I know where I'm headed and my directionality and, and all of that. And I just, and, and it all, my, it, came from getting my focus off the weight loss and finding the real problem. Yeah. Um, you know, yes, I did learn to eat healthier. Um, I learned a lot about different supplements and some of the foods I was eating um, through food journaling. I discovered foods that um, were causing inflammation and making me sick. Um, I cured myself of acid reflux, you know, no more heartburn pills and stuff, you know. And it's just, and it was just, you know, finding foods that 
my body doesn't like. So just don't eat them. Well, and it's that process though. I mean, really what that comes down to, and what I put so much in a capsule of that love for you, mm -hmm. you're really connected, which is really right. what you're saying that you connected to you. Yeah. You listening to you and loving you. Mm -hmm. And from when we love ourselves, we want it. We start going, wait, that didn't feel good. Why am I eating that again? Right. Exactly. Right? exactly. Instead of like, but I just want the, I don't want to be told I can't have the chips or like, it's like, but right. they don't feel good. So yeah. it's not even that like, you know, you can't have, it's not about not having them. It's, it's, what do you, it's not about what you're giving up. What are you gaining? You get addicted to feeling good. Yes. And if you're going to have an addiction, that's the one to have. Amen, sister. You know, not the caffeine, not the M&Ms or, you know, any of the other stuff. It's that. And I think, and I think one of the funniest things, and I know I brought it up in one of the calls and we laughed about it, was when I realized there weren't enough notches on my belt anymore to keep my jeans up and I had to go shopping for jeans. <laughs> well, it was in the spring, so I didn't because we switched over to shorts. And when I went to put my jeans back on in the fall, I had gone down um, two sizes and I was kind of in between the second and the third. So, oh you know, that's a pretty cool side effect. <laughs> I mean, that's what all the women were saying this past year, right? Like they were like, and this happened and this happened. Oh yeah. And the weight. And yeah. Yeah, the weight was nice too. But the yeah. cool thing was, and it was like, <laughs> it's so funny that when you started, it was all weight, weight, weight. Right. And exactly. Then, you know, and you also started and said, I have a big dream. Mm -hmm. And you weren't really stepping into your dream. Right. Yeah. I just, I just, it was just too far out there. Yeah. And it's like, by the end of it, it's like, I embraced that dream and then added on to it. So it's not just getting back into my writing and getting my blog ready to launch. Um, you know, it's going back to school, which I swore I would never do. Yeah. Um, but you know, taking classes to get into Christian counseling and, um, I don't know, just all, it's, it's like, there's not enough hours in the day now for all the things that are there for me, just like, right. I mean, they're not out of my, gra you can't see my hand, but like, they're not out of my grasp anymore. They're like right there. Yeah. And none yeah. of them are tied up in the energy of food. Right. And so you know, have all this other energy to put towards you. Right. And so many people have commented on how different I seem. Um, I've had people ask me what kind of diet I'm on and I'm, you know, cause they want to be on that diet. I'm like, I don't diet. I eat what I want. But the key is my wants have changed. Yes. You know, cause my mindset changed. That's right, girl. Yeah. That's <laughs> that is what we do. Yep. So did you have any other, um, objections before starting the program. I know the big one was the husband, like how many right. programs can I do that I failed at before and to ask him to support me in another one and investing. Um, and you know, you said it, you, you know, once you talk to your husband, right. you know, and we went through and I coached you on how to, how to talk to him. Cause I see right. that that's something that happens. Yeah. And, um, I mean, my only other objections for that, um, fear of the unknown. Yeah. Um, because you know, you, you, that from that first phone call, you think, okay, we're getting into another diet plan. Okay. Diets don't work, but all right, we're going to try this. I mean, you're still, you know, okay. You're, you're kind of excited. And I mean, because I had hooked up with Sandy and Joanne because yeah. you, the, um, the jumpstart program, you know, I already had a couple friends in the group, yeah. but still it was, it was the fear of the unknown and, um, you know, just what am I getting myself into? But some of the things that I've been exposed to this year, um, I love, and I never would have been exposed to them or even gotten knowledge of all the different, um, uh, healthy things that are out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. if it wasn't for this program, but we're creatures of habit. We don't like to change. And it was a lot of change this year, yeah. but it was, it was changed for the good. I mean, my kids noticed it. They've talked to my husband about it. You know, what's going on with mom? Um, my son was teasing, is she on drugs? You know, 
It's like, no. <laughs> yes, it's like my kids think I'm walking around on lithium. Right, I'm exactly. I'm like, so high on life now. Right, yeah. And so now the best is, so you're Christian and you know that I'm, I'm spiritual and I'm, and I'm religious and mm -hmm. there was some stuff that I brought into the program that you were like, Melissa, this one's a little far out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of woo. Girl, yeah. we got to get some woo on here. Um, we do. And I enjoyed it. And, and I am. And you were so open to it. Right. I, you know, I would do my research. You know, I'd be getting on Google when you'd start talking about stuff and I would do my research and everything. And cause you know, I wanted to make sure everything is, you know, on the up and up and, you know, not crazy stuff, but, um, and, and some of it is a little crazy, but we need to embrace the crazy because <laughs> life is crazy and it works and it, you know, there's, there's joy. And, um, I, I just, I think that you just, you know, by the time you get over, the first couple months are a little scary yeah, because yeah. there's so much change and you're really having to look into yourself in places you really don't want to. Yeah. Um, but once you get in there and you discover these things and you work through them, I mean, for me, it was quick. I know some of the ladies in our group, it took a little longer. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was pretty journey. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was pretty quick. Um, I would say anyone that had any hesitations to just get over it and just jump in with both feet and do it. You know, you don't need a life preserver. You just jump in the deep end and go. Because <laughs> where would you be if you didn't say yes? Uh, honestly, I would not be as happy as I am right now. I would still be trying to figure out my place in life at this stage in my life and not a very happy person. And I mean, I'm, I'm a good faker. I mean, people thought I was happy. They didn't realize I, you know, I wasn't, but, um, yeah, I honestly, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. I, I don't even want to think about it. You there. So as I said it, my energy, I was like, yeah, we won't go there. Yeah, um, I just don't even want to think about it. I just, I love where I'm at right now. I just love it. And I just, I only see good. Um, I'm a little disappointed right now. I don't know if you picked up on that. I don't get to go see my baby this weekend because they're getting tons and tons of snow. Oh, I have to go to New York next week. <laughs> I'm not going to be about it. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not even understanding. Like I was like, yeah. this is why I moved. <laughs> well, this is like the weirdest state. We are six hours or for like five hours below them is 74 degrees yesterday and they're getting snow. And if they close that bridge, you can't get over in the UP. So, you know, we can't go. So I am a little disappointed right now. I don't get to see my baby, but. You'll see her very soon. Yes. Yeah, There's I will hop in the car and just take off on my own if I have to. <laughs> and that's something you would have never done. No, I was not a travel on my own person. I mean, going Even to that re retreat. Oh my gosh. When I went to that retreat all by myself, yep. you know, having to be on a plane for five hours by myself, entertain myself, and stay in, I've never stayed in a hotel room all by myself. I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And it was just. It was just phenomenal, just exploring all on my own. <laughs> yeah. So, because yeah. we have retreats in the program, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was just, it was so awesome. Girl, yeah. I cannot thank you enough um, for sharing, you know, for sharing your experience, because people don't know, and it's scary, and, you know, you either say yes, and take that leap of faith forward in yourself, right. and in what you feel called to, right? Because there was something about this. Right. I believe that there's that nothing is by chance, right? I believe no. that I was brought to you for a reason and vice yep. versa. Um, and you know, you either say yes or you or you say no and you choose to stay in the same cycle. Right. Right. right? Where you would still be dieting and probably focus a lot on your weight and being wrong, you yep. know? And so I just want to thank you so much. And is there anything oh, final to you want to say? Are you good? I'm, I'm good. Just get off your butt and do it. <laughs> <laughs> get off your butt. And you heard it here first, everybody. Yeah, Thank get you off your butt and do it. Uh, you are such a gift. Okay, we are going to hop off. I just want to say thank you so much for being here and sharing yourself. 
And oh, absolutely uh, love to do it. I love you, girl. All right. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Take care though, because we're gonna talk. Okay. <laughs>